if you've been on YouTube for the past two years, then you probably know of the name Super Mario Logan or SML. SML is created by Logan Thirty Acre, and the SML crew consists of Chili, Logan's girlfriend, who he proposed to, Chili's brother Tito, Lavelle, Pablo, and others. The big thing that SML is known for is for creating the character Jeffy, who constantly curses and poops his pants and is stupid and breaks stuff and yada yada yada. You get the point. Yet, kids seem to love him a lot and constantly go, uh, uh, uh. But we're actually going to be talking about more than just Jeffy. We're going to be talking about just SML as a whole, including Logan and other people in the SML crew. And before you say anything, no, I'm not going to be talking about the demonetization and stuff like that. Because I'm, I want to go over stuff that is more recent and stuff that may, people may not actually realize as much as, obviously, the demonetization. So, without further ado, I bring you the SML rant. When it comes to SML's actual videos, I'm going to be judging them on three factors. One, how original the videos are. Two, the amount of filler that's in the videos. And three, the jokes and characters. When it comes to that first thing, originality, this is where SML starts to kind of dangle a little bit. It's no surprise that SML's been copying their earlier videos and just kind of putting new characters in them, whatever. They've been doing that since Jeffy was first introduced. But I'm still gonna go over a few examples. First off, Uh Oh SpaghettiOs is just like any other video where Junior makes a mess and he has to clean it up. Jeffy the Karate Master is basically just Junior learns karate. And of course, Jeffy breaks his leg is basically just like Junior breaks his leg except, you know, it's just Jeffy. There's other examples as well, but those are the only ones that are super noticeable. Next up, we have filler, and if I'm being honest, SML's filler has gotten really bad. For instance, Bowser Jr.'s new room is literally 10 minutes long, and Bowser Jr. doesn't even get his new room until 8 minutes in. Everything else before that is just something about how Jr. ate his dad's donut, and now his dad won't let him in his room, so now he has to sleep with Chef Pee Pee. Like, does this even count as, like, filler, or is it just clickbait? I genuinely can't tell at this point. Maybe if the video was called Junior Gets Kicked Out or something, it probably wouldn't be so bad. There are just so many scenes that have completely no relevance and are just people talking on the red couch. There's literally, like, re-uploads of SML's videos without the filler, and they still sometimes reach over the 10-minute mark. Finally, we have characters and jokes. Now, in terms of characters, it's gotten, I don't even know, like, better or worse, I can't really tell. I say alright, because Logan did introduce a few new characters, but then again, he only used them once or twice in a video, and plus, a lot of them are super uninteresting and boring. Take, for instance, Cody's family, which are just a bunch of other black stereotypes. They appear maybe once or twice in, a, in SML videos, and that's it. Or Goodman's son, who appears in a few videos. He appears in more videos than Cody's family, but he's just your average rich kid. It's stupid, too, because in the first video young Goodman was introduced in, he actually changed and he became a better man because he realized that you don't need money to be happy. But then in the very next video, he just goes back to being a selfish brat with a lot of money. In terms of jokes, there's pretty much only three types of jokes in SML anymore. There's A, stereotypes, B, just plain cursing, or C, pretty awful meta jokes. Every day is Taco Tuesday! No! No, it's not, Chef Pee Pee! Not every day is Taco Tuesday! You've never said that before! Stop saying it! Jeffy still says stuff like, I don't have to, and uh, 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 and it gets really repetitive after a while. Now, these three points don't mean that there's not a single good SML video that's been created in the past year or so, but what it is saying is that the videos that have been going up on the channel recently haven't been good. In fact, a lot of them have been pretty awful. Speaking of channels...
You see, because of SML constantly getting demonetized on his first channel, he moved to his second channel, Super Luigi Logan, which also got demonetized, which he then moved to Super Bowser Logan. And somehow he did it. He somehow managed to switch to three separate channels and now is not getting demonetized anymore. This problem is only going to get worse, as if he gets demonetized again, we already know that he has four other channels that he's already made that he's going to move to. Now listen, moving channels or Discord servers or stuff like that can be incredibly annoying, and a lot of people think it's pretty unnecessary. Constantly switching to channel to channel is going to confuse a lot of people, so my advice would be to change the name of Super Bowser Logan to something like SML. Or maybe something like Super Logan Mario, something like that. Another thing that would be pretty easy is that if you got all the videos from Super Luigi Logan, Super Mario Logan, and from Super Bowser Logan, and just put it all into one channel, so that people wouldn't have to go through three separate channels to find a certain video. <laughs> If I'm being honest, SML's biggest problem this year was probably all of the merch plugs and every all of the controversy that had to do with the merch website and the merch in general. I guess I should start off with the biggest problem and that's that there are constant merch plugs in the videos. There's even an entire video about the merch. Now, there's no problem with plugging your merch at the end, middle, or beginning of a video, but try and not be annoying with it. For instance, before the video starts, put something like, Hey guys, this is something new on the, uh, on the SML merch website, or just leave it till the end of the video. And if you really just want to feature it in the video, then just try and write it in there some way. Don't try and just say, Look, merch! Just try and advertise it in a way that isn't too obvious. Another big problem with the merch is the puppets. You see, because of the whole Koppa thing, Logan made human versions of his normal characters because they were Super Mario characters, so he decided to turn them all into human puppets. And my god, do they look atrocious. I'm sorry, I know this is kind of subjective, but who would buy these awful pieces of crap? They look like absolute garbage. They don't resemble their characters at all, so why would kids want to buy these? It's not even a good marketing scheme. They're just so unattractive to look at, and I would never think that Logan would snoop so low to get this money. Speaking of money, these plushes and puppets are, at the very most, $75 for a Jeffy puppet, and the other puppets are $40. Why are they so much? I get it, okay, it may take a while to manufacture and make them, but still, most puppets sell for about $20. That's literally half of what you're selling these awful puppets for. It's just like selling a giant sign that says, Hi guys, it's me Loggy, and I make a lot of money under these puppets. <laughs> it's just such an obvious way to get money for puppets that look like trash. Everything else on the merch store is basically just Jeffy. Also, those pop-up ads that you're seeing at the side of your screen saying, This person just bought this. Well, those are actually fake, and apparently a lot of companies use those, which, in my opinion, is still kind of dumb. Also, this is more of a minor complaint, but Logan constantly yells about how YouTube's demonetizing me when my videos aren't kid-friendly, even though I specifically say they're not kid-friendly. Then why are you selling a school set on your Birch website? It's got all the SML characters, and it's got a bunch of stuff that's pretty much meant for elementary school kids. Like, Jesus Christ, Logan. Remember Chili, you know, Logan's girlfriend? Well, she actually has a vlog channel called, well, Chili, and it used to be called Super Peach Logan. On this channel, Chili uploads daily vlogs, and I'm not gonna lie, they have some problems too. The biggest problem with Chili's content, or just with any vlogger in general, is that she starts to clickbait, and she's clickbaiting a lot recently. Like, for instance, she has a video called, We Just Got Our New Lamborghini, He Almost Broke It. You may be thinking, oh my god, they, they almost broke their new yellow Lamborghini? Like, oh my god, what happened? Literally all that happened was Tito, Chili's older brother, uh, all he did was he slammed the speaker, and they turned the car back on, and the speakers were completely fine. Like, nothing happened. If I were to get this car in another color, what would it be? Red. 
<laughs> Boom. Red, with red interior? Don't, don't. Oh, he fucked your speaker up. Tito. Lift it up. Lift it up. Lift it up. Tito, I'm stop. I'm, I'm Lift it up. Why would you smack that down, dude? I, it looked like it didn't belong there. No, they pop in and out. Oh, my God. I'm actually upset. Uh, let, I think it's fine. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, think... my God. Who punches something in the car? Who put the speaker up there? <laughs> it's pop-up speakers. It's Pop Wayne. It's Papa John. Okay. Another video they have is called We Shouldn't Have Done This, We're Sorry, with the text She Hated This in the thumbnail with a sad emoji. And the entire video was just Logan and Chili bringing their cat upstairs for the first time, and the cat was just kind of annoyed and he wanted to go downstairs. Why did you make an entire video about that? Why would you clickbait that? She like, what is this place? Oh, oh, she, she mad. Huh. She is so confused. She likes that room. She likes my movie theater room. Oh, she's so lost. What? She's lost. She's like, whoa, what is this room? She's never been in the filming room. Oh my gosh, Precious, now you can be a plush tuber. She's never been in the filming room. Look, she's like, this place is insane. Is she gonna look through the No. What? Do you Precious. like it? She clearly does not like it. I don't know too much about cats, but does she <laughs> like it or no? Precious. Okay, okay, you want to go back down? Oh, okay, this actually looks sad. I thought she'd enjoy it. You've never, you've never been upstairs. I'm right here. I'm right here. Look. She's like, okay. What if you call her over on the other side? She's like, okay. There are other examples too, like for instance, Rebecca is destroying this house where Rebecca, Tito's ex-girlfriend who came back to him in a Chihuahua Chili's vlogs, is destroying the house, when in reality, she just misunderstood Tito because of a text message and she made a dent in the door. She didn't break down your door. I understand that this video is very obviously fake, but still, they don't portray it as a fake video like they do with some of their other fake videos. So it makes it seem like they want people to think that this is real. But speaking of Rebecca... Like I said earlier, Rebecca is Tito's ex-girlfriend who eventually came back to him in one of Chili's vlogs. Now, there's two video examples that I want to show you because they make her seem kind of like a bitch. Take, for instance, the video that I talked about earlier, Rebecca is destroying our house. In the video, Tito gets a text message from his mom, and his mom's contact is named My One and Only Love, and obviously Rebecca thinks that Tito is cheating on her. So she gets mad and starts chasing him, knocking on Chili and Logan's door while Tito escapes. Eventually, she breaks in and starts threatening about how she'll destroy everything in the house, and they show how she made a dent in the door. I know this video is obviously very fake, but unlike some of their other videos where they normally address that it's fake or that it was just a skit, they didn't do that with this one, so it's just putting Rebecca in a bad light. In another video called Rebecca Sneaking Out Again, it's where Rebecca leaves Tito with her luggage and Tito starts crying because he's mad that she left him again. This video is very obviously fake as well, but once again, it just makes Rebecca seem like a total asshole of a person. And I'm kind of convinced that she is. I mean, she just kind of seems like she wants Tito to feel bad for her, especially in one of the videos called Pregnant Prank, where she pretends to be pregnant because she's afraid Tito will leave her. And even Logan tries to talk her out of it. This one actually might be real, but I also think that this one's fake once again, because the way Tito acts is very unrealistic. He just kind of says, I'm leaving you because you're pregnant, and she just starts crying. And Logan and Chili don't even try and, like, help Rebecca at all. I know they know it's a prank, but still, like, if you're doing a prank, wouldn't you try and make it more realistic by comforting Rebecca? Still, the relationship doesn't seem very healthy, and Rebecca just doesn't seem like a very nice person. In terms of SML, her role is the maid, which, honestly, I don't really like her character very much. She's not a very interesting character, and her puppeteer work is leagues worse than everyone else's, probably because of a lack of experience. 
Phew, we just talked about a lot of stuff with SML and Shilly and everyone else, but there's one thing that I purposely left out till the end of this video. The reason I made this video in general is because of what I'm about to talk about right now, and slight warning, it gets kind of inappropriate and kind of dark in this part, so if you don't want to hear anything about cheating and inappropriate stuff and sex and stuff, then you might want to skip to this part of the video, but other than that, yeah. So a few days ago on Twitter, Tito released a video of a bunch of his Tito Tata stuffed animals ripped up and the caption, this is what Logan does if you're not on his good side. After that, he posted something talking about what Logan had been doing, and apparently Logan had been cheating on Shilly with another girl. Elena. Well, you guys know what they say, once a snitch, always a snitch. Here's what happens. Logan decided to tell me how he cheated on Chili, my sister, and he really wanted to show me videos of him and that girl having sex <sighs> while she was on her period. I said no, and honestly, he shouldn't have told me in the first place since I'm her brother. He can only blame himself. And that's why I got kicked out of the house and my Sonic plushies destroyed by Logan. Also, do you know why Elena wasn't in a video for two years? Well, that's because Logan had sex <sighs> with her, and that's that's why she wasn't allowed to be in a video. Probably make a video about everything later on my channel to explain more of what Logan has done. Chili's sister, Damaris, also made a few tweets about this. Logan, you're a worthless piece of shit. <coughs> not only cheated on my sister with a hook <coughs> you paid about $60,000 for in her own home, but then you turned around and get pissed off at my brother, Tito, for fucking <coughs> snitching on you, and then you break all of his goddamn stuffed animals. And not only that, then you go ahead and decide to fucking <coughs> scratch yourself to try and get a pity from the police. Effing pussy, <coughs> you deserve to die alone. Don't worry, honey. Everyone always always gets theirs. And let's not forget how you fucking put your hands on me, Logan. Here's proof. Check out the read receipts. There's more. Tell her what? Nah, it don't matter now. It doesn't don't talk to me. You want me to tell her about Willow? Nah, don't worry. I'll probably tell her tomorrow or today when I get my stuff. You can stay if you don't tell her. Nah, bro. Our relationship is broken. You already kicked me out and I'm pissed. I'll be there tomorrow later tonight and tomorrow to get my stuff. I like how you assume I told her. I don't need you. Why does she need to know? Doesn't matter because I'm telling her anyways. Now, if all of this is true and Logan did actually cheat on Shilly, then that's really fucked. That's awful. And I don't understand why Logan would ever cheat on her. You've been with her for years. It's really awful. And even on Instagram, Chili has told everyone that they're still dating and that they're still together. It's just such an awful thing to do. It's really disgusting that Logan would do something like this, and the fact that if he actually did rip off all of Tito's stuff and scratch himself to get pity from the police, then he's honestly a terrible person. You may be thinking that I missed a lot of things in this video, but honestly, I didn't want this video to be like an hour long, okay? So the moral of this video is that, Logan, if this is all true, then please fix yourself. Fix this. Stop acting like this. The first part of this video is more with your videos, but the more personal stuff is stuff that you really need to fix, Logan, because it could be detrimental and it could completely ruin everything for your fan base. Anyways, I hope you guys liked this video. I know it was kind of long and I know it took me a while to make this video, but, you know, I wanted to get it out before Christmas so I could have the Christmas special and whatever. So, yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video, gamers. Merry Christmas.